my brother. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, I will um, open the meeting. Uh, it's a little after 10. 10. Yep. 10 um, but in any case, uh, can we have a roll call? Lori Loiso. Kenny Kane. Oh. Dorothy Pagnum. Nilda Cohen. Oh, hey, Winkler. Hi. And Miss Patrice just walked in. Would you please? You're going to have your back to the camera because now we're being recorded, recorded for at least the That's open time. Choice of scene. So control yourself. And we have a guest, a very important guest. Um, so as you know, I had different uh, changes to the, uh, this was the most changed agenda in my history. But um, Jim called me and um, had some questions with the FRTA contract, which you guys had given, uh, allowed me to sign off because of the time sensitivity and they're going on vacation. We're not, but they're going on vacation and to get it to Amy. So um, you all got an email this morning that Charlie forwarded with um, Maureen's questions and, and uh, Jim's. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, okay. Well, I, I've been on the computer since. It, it did six. come. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So in any case, I was going to share that. Um, they did not sign it. They voted to uh, allow or give the release of signing it either Maureen or Jim, whoever could come to the meeting. Yeah, any board member. Yes. Contingent on responses to the questions that they had that could not be answered because I couldn't go to the meeting. Everything kind of, you know, affected the schedule. So one of the, um, I had it here. One of the questions was a, um, the amount. Okay. So what caused the confusion, and I spoke to Amy at our FRTA, on our monthly uh, reports to FRTA, it had 25.5 on the corner, which indicates that's our starting number. As each month is reported, it's, it's reduced. And that's how we monitor that we're within the guidelines of the amount that's awarded to us. Um, so that was confirmed. We talked to Vicki. It w there was a note from Jennifer that that was, even though the contract said 31 for FY17, we had this different figure, so I needed clarification. Um, so the story is that the contract says 31, but it's really 30, and that's why- This contract said, says 30. Right, oh, 30, and I, I was, I, my FY17 was 31. And the reason for that is that they take a two-year activity of what has been used and then it either goes up or it goes down. It's every two years. Fifth, FY15 and 16 is reflected of a higher ridership usage, and therefore that's why it was higher for FY17. For FY, uh, for FY8, so they took those two years, and so the FY18 is slightly lower. The next cycle of a review of what they're going to award, it also comes off the cherry sheet. So there's, a, there's components that they use to determine that will be an FY20. So that's when we're going to see a difference. And so that's why I said 31, because I was using the FY17 versus the um, Oh, and the 25.5, she says she doesn't know where that number. She admitted, she said, Nilda, I can't even tell you how that number was, because they do the sheet, you know, we don't do it. So she said, it would be not worth at this point to research it, but the contract is for 30. So if I understand it correctly, the previous two years average is how they determine this, and of course there's another component with the cherry sheet, but basically it's the previous two years. This one, the previous two years, it dropped a little bit the average. Right. So it's 30 instead of 31. Right. Okay. And I'll tell you the other thing that was really, uh, you know, uh, I, as I thought about this more yesterday, if it's based on ridership and we have put in a request for a second van, if the need arises, the numbers support that. And she said, you just make a case that there's a van. Um, if we had not made that correction when we did with that money that was 
given to them to reduce their obligation, that would have further averaged us at a lower usage than warranted because somebody else was paying for it. And so we really, it was good that from both standpoints, the money was, re, uh, was returned and it also would have an impact two years down the road that we had at least in an amount that we had less people using the van when we didn't. And that's with one driver. So I think um, uh, this is good. You know, I think we're going up. And she also said that our number is going to be slightly higher of usage this year. So that's also going to help. And they're going to support us at a higher level of reimbursement be because we, um, they're, they're giving us the funding. Okay. Now the other question was the quarry. <laughs> Quarry check, okay. and that in conjunction is basically if you go into section eight of this contract, it requires um, a monthly report, but some of them are on an annual basis. It's the quarry check, it's the drug testing if required, and then the driver uh, record from the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles be submitted within 10 days or uh, minimum of 10 days or something before they yeah. get each month. Yeah. If that's been done, then I think it answers the question. Yeah. What she clarified is that the drug testing, the, uh, the motor vehicle check, the license, everything, gets done at the start of someone driving. It's not done periodically. With the new marijuana uh, law, you know, they put that into the contract because if there's an accident or they get tested, they, if uh, we feel that there's some activity that we need to you know, look into, then that gets um, reported to them. They handle everything. We, we, our responsibility is to make sure that the reporting is in place, that an accident is reported immediately, that the driver, whatever the circumstances of the report, um, of, you know, I'm sure there's a police that's called because they probably need that for documentation, that they're in compliance with all of those requirements for FRTA. So we really are the, well, we have a responsibility to the, uh, to the seniors, but more importantly, they are the ones that have the oversight. So we don't incur any costs on that level. So we, we don't do a quarry check in June on them, they, they do it? So on the quarry, no, on the quarry, there's two schools of thoughts. We need to, th you know, have a conversation with this about this, you know, as a board and, you know, with with the new director, because um, they were. She said they either get done in July. Everybody that's working on the FRTA that has contact on the F uh, FRTA gets quarried in July, and and some people do it that way, and you don't have to worry about, oh, somebody's due in April, somebody's due in, in March, so, um, and that's fine. She said, however you decide, but it's normally 12 months from the date that they were hired. So let's say Richard is hired in January, so then his would be January uh, 2018. So as long as you, you fill out a form to them and you say this is where our folks are at in terms of when they were quarried last, and as long as you fill out the paperwork and you said this is 12 months from that day they were checked, then everything's good. Why does the contract say, according to this, that all should be done each June? Yeah, that's what it's that, I mean, that's, that's, that's why. I just that's the that's the question. Question. Um, it just doesn't match the contract. Well, that's the easier way to do it. If he's hired in January, you do it in January, and then you redo it in June. Like yes. you do everybody do it annually. Yeah. And then yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. I have an email from her that says, um, uh, in terms of, let's see what the, um, that's not the Corey. Um, or is it, or is it, wait a minute. So many pieces of paper here. Um, in any case, that's what she told me this morning. So it's should up to us. Should we change this contract oh. or should we change our procedure to match the contract? Which one should we do? It's just this contract says one thing and we're doing something a little bit different. That's not that the I, question. I would recommend well, we would change our procedure. I, I said to her this morning, I said to her this morning, do we have to have it done July 1st? Do, you know, July 1st, Saturday. Do we have to have it in place, the paperwork, so we can run the quarries because they haven't been run? And um, 
and she and that's when she gave me this two, these two scenarios. So she also said that only one person should be doing them. Well, we had agreed that only one person should do it and that they are considered confidential and that we have to be, make the person that we're running a quarry aware. They have to fill out a form to give them, to give us the release. Um, they have a right to know that. So um, I told her that that would be done because, you know, we've learned some lessons here. So if you want to call her, and you want to ask her if we're going to change the con. She only pointed out to clarification on the amount and also the um, uh, the quarry and uh, what else? Oh, the marijuana. Uh, because that's, you know, that's the change from FY8. I don't have the what. Do you have, do you have an extra copy? Because I gave you two copies. I didn't get it. I have copy. two copies here, but once I sign them, I was going to. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So we can make a copy. I would make a record. Submit to the board. Yeah. I would make a recommendation that we don't change that contract, that we change our procedure. Because she's leaving and she wants to close everything up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's training so, somebody. I, I don't think we understand. need to touch Money. that contract. Just change our procedure. Okay, so you'll change your procedure. So Is that a motion? I make a motion that we change the procedure for when we uh, conduct queries on the van drive. I'll second that to align with the contract. Absolutely. All right. Um, is he working today? Yeah. I, I called in during this morning and I said make sure that everybody fills out the permission to run quarry so then when Shad is not in today, she's, she'll be in on Wednesday, she can then put them through. Well, if it's supposed to be done in June, today's the 29th. You know, but if you get everything in motion. Well, I told Amy that. I mean, you know, everything that's occurred with this contract did not come on a timely basis. It came in last week. And that's why I was trying to push for them when they were met on the 27th, so at least we can, you know, get it into their hands. Can we establish a, a timeline then to get it done by like the second week of July? Oh, she something. just said she only could do it Wednesday. Last year, the FY17 contract was signed by the board, or, or discussed, and it was signed by the chair on 615. So, you know, it comes around that, that time. Well, a little later this year. Came. Yeah. So. And it could be that, you know, she's leaving and, you know, they fell behind. But Shannon gave it to me. She said, listen, this has to be returned right away. And, and I took it home on Friday when I was here for the luncheon. And, and then I touched base with her, and that's when we... I think this year it's unfortunate that the holiday lined up with the, with the dates in the beginning of July. I don't think that will probably happen again for another 20 years. I don't know. I don't get that. Isn't July 4th always on July 4th? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Thank you. I but it changes the date. It changes, it changes, I think it changes the date. The date changes from year to year. The date of the date. So right, but it's not something. Well, it makes a difference Sunday. because everybody's going to be gone until Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's vacation period in there. Okay. But we're open Monday. It's just. No, no, no. We're Oh, we're all, we're all Has the town open. ever talked about, or did anybody ever talk to the town about having like a town quarry person so it's not even in the council on aging? Well, I don't know whether that's... That's so bizarre to me. Every town we mm -hmm. talk to doesn't run their own quarry checks. Right. I mean, council doesn't. The town does. Was there a vote taken? I don't know when this stuff was ready. We didn't vote yet. No. Oh, no. no, we didn't so close the vote because it's not a discussion the contract. Oh, yeah, we, we voted. Voting. They said keep it the same. And, and she Jan, seconded it. Yeah. But we didn't vote. We didn't vote. Uh, yeah. I said it. Because Laurie asked a question, right? Yes, yeah, so we're in the discussion phase. Yeah, yeah. No, I've already, we've already voted. Everyone voted. It was unanimous. To we're going to say with the contract with right. June. And now we're then. Is there a quarry person in town hall that can run the quarry? The quarry. I was always under the impression, for some reason, I I've heard this through the grapevine. Oh God! And that wonderful <laughs> song. That the Council on Aging had to do its own quarry. Correct. Yeah. And yeah. we're the only one probably of everywhere we talk no, no, to. No, no, no. Well, I, I spoke to, because I did a lot of research, I talked to the town of Amherst. They have a, a human resource department. They, they're they much bigger. I talked to East Hampton. I went to the two, you know, sort of uh, uh, not the same size, but and those, uh, East Hampton has also a personnel department. I spoke to her, and she only does it. Linda puts the paperwork through. And then they do it, and they never get a copy back. 
It never goes back to the department head <coughs> because of the nature of the sensitivity of the information. I mean, the way that we do it here is, is sort of borderline, well, not maybe now, but a year ago, illegal because too many damn people saw those quarries and too many people had access to them. Yeah. And had I known that, I can tell you, I never would have been on the board here. And my core is perfect. I would have, out of principle, knowing everybody that in there could read it, I would not have joined the board. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you also. Quick question. <laughs> um, so you need current, to take this back to your board. Right. That's why. That's why I'm just trying to take notes. So the current driver we have has had a quarry truck within the last 12 months. Oh yeah. oh yeah. So that's all good. So if it takes us a couple weeks to into July some point to get in line with the contract and then we'll be on board with that, yeah. it would be good there. So he is Corey checked. So we're good there with But the any baseball. everybody that has some involvement of FRTA deals with a consumer, gives information, takes a a, a booking. Um, How do you they, know somebody Brian Richards? I think, I think Amy has, she, uh, a report gets submitted to to uh, FRTA that everybody's in compliance. Okay. That's what the thing is. And all, so, all Jim is getting at is if he's already Corey and it's within the year period, contract can be signed, sent, and then come June, as Patrice has said, June of 2018, we are in 17. <laughs> We will Corey again. We will be in accordance with right. the contract. Well, we would probably need to do his now, so it will last until next year. Yep. So, so the other part of this yep. that I would ask you is then, do we? So we're going to be in compliance as of June. Do we then Corey everybody, regardless of whether they were like, for instance, Shannon, because they're the people that are in place now. Shannon and Andrew were Corey. I think we should do it. Uh, we, don't, we don't have to question it. It says each June, it so it's each June. It doesn't cost us anything. anything. We don't pay anything. Right. It's just a matter of that. We have to deal with different dates. I mean, as long as we're all compliance with that contract, everybody who does that. Right, right. Well, we should push to have the town administrator or the PBPB or somebody that's Absolutely. outside of our area yeah. responsible for this. And I, I would never put it that. on personal policy. Well, I, well, so I, I would go the town administrator. I think yeah, well, that, because that was my first you know yeah, because too much information leaks out, and I just think it's just. I mean, like when this woman in East Hampton, she said, "Nilda, you have a picture, you have a social identity theft, anything. It's you know, this is a big responsibility." And I said, you know, so anyway, um, I've never seen a quarry, so. <laughs> I don't, I, don't I, I, I could be a backup, but I don't want to be the person in an emergency. Okay, so, so let's, let's make a motion that we try to transfer that to the town administrator. Well, yeah, I, I would ask Jim to put it on his agenda. Yeah, that's the last board has to make that decision. And they, you know, they're going through some changes too, so it depends on. Have you looked at that job description of the town administrator? No. <laughs> They'll be here. <laughs> 24 hours a day with the duties that they have. That's but anyway, they're salaried. They can be. Okay. So, um, so in any case, you gave me somebody gave me an agenda and it got buried here. So, from, have, so Jim know. has stepped out. So all I'm saying is that uh, from putting this to bed, everybody's comfortable that we. Um, and I'll get a signed copy. You should get one too because I think you've asked. I don't know if you want one. Does anybody who wants a copy of this? For their own. That's the FRTA copy. Yeah, this is the FY17. I don't have the 18 because mm -hmm. I usually make a copy once it's signed. I don't need a copy. I have enough paper at home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we have, I mean, it's good to always see it before it's signed, but once it's signed, it's. Yeah, yeah. I'd like yeah. to see what I'm signing. Yeah. Now that you're agreeing to. So this is good. Okay, so, um, so anyway, so we took. The agenda you printed was not the same agenda that I... It is the agenda that you sent me right there in front of you. Oh, okay, darling. Thank you. Did you um, happen to check in town hall today to see if they had Liz Fletcher's application? Who was that, who was that I check with? I don't know. Whoever I have no idea. Him. You know, I mean... What did that person send a letter for? The board. The board? Oh, okay. So there's one more. Um, well, I told you I had three, and that's what I have, but you sure. know, I, have another one. I haven't done that. 
Okay, well anyway, so we're gonna go into um sorry. So the minutes I down and get it. <laughs> that I was referring to just in case, because I think we approved a set of minutes at the last minute at the last meeting, Laurie, and then you were gonna try to do the ones of the meeting that we had. So you gave me the exact for I June seventh. Yeah, and I gave we you did the regular list, the nightmare minutes. <laughs> What, four pages? Well, the fourth page is oh. pretty minimal. It's, it's, it's <coughs> okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna, are you gonna read those? Because my water is sitting on my kitchen table, so I'm gonna run down to the senior center. Do you want me to go? No, I don't know. All right, so you can read those wonderful minutes. Okay. <laughs> she has all this editorial comments when she gives us information that <laughs> I get off track. <laughs> Um, so last night, and I think, I don't, I thought that uh, Lori responded to me, but she must have been at that concert. Um, the, the last copy of minutes that I sent of agenda was including that the select board member, a select board member was going to come to the meeting with the FRTA questions. You know, I needed to kind of, um, track that that we were not taking this um off the record or something and um so that was the agenda that i sent out and now i can't put my hands on my copy because um where's that where's the um which of the ministers she said we need to approve is this this these june 7th yes. june 7th the multi-page yeah the chapter oh, oy, oy. How do people feel about proceeding because we have much to talk about with regard to the resumes plus what's going to happen this afternoon, the driver situation. I mean those are the are we meeting next Wednesday in our normal monthly meeting? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask to change that because the select board is meeting on July eleven that uh -huh. and um, I thought we try to change it for the twelfth because they will have voted on if we have a recommendation. Actually, uh, Kathy is a reappointment. Mm -hmm. Now, supposedly, the board has to approve that. We've never done that. Yeah. No, Jennifer just said, you know, you have to go and fill out the paper to the town clerk. Everybody just said you're staying on now, you know. But I'm going to question that because we never did a letter. No. Never. I mean, and so. And I'm going away tomorrow. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, in any case, we have to have an understanding, and I think, particularly because Janet has sent me these very edgy emails, very polite, but she said, and I mean this very positive, you know, I, I, I shouldn't say edgy, I should say there's a little in between message she said to me, like last night she said, she sent me an email, she said, I'm on this. I'm on, under the treasurer's report, is there for, I don't know, nobody has told me what I'm supposed to report. Yeah, treasurer's report, FRTA, and I said, what am I supposed to report on? So, but, but that, I didn't want to say too much in the email, yeah. but I think it's important that we have an orientation yeah, for members sure. Thank you. to say, you know, this is how we know. just said that. Listen, we're in a change because yeah. we were never included in this. Jennifer never had that conversation. I, we learned by showing up and asking questions. It's the God's honest truth. I knew more because I was more persistent, but um, but quite frankly, it was just a case. And that yet she persists. Okay, yes. so anyway, so I, I guess I I'm, I'm asking a lot of questions too, yeah, yeah. and they're not meant to be. And it's not to exclude then. you, it's just no, that no, no, we no. have been like like under siege with so much yeah. stuff. That, um, so in any case, so does anybody have an opinion about this, what we plan to do and how it's gonna proceed? And No? Let's just go forward. <laughs> yes, that's right. Do the best we can. March so we're, you're thinking we're not meeting next week to answer my original Correct. question. So do we? Should we take a vote on that we would like to reschedule our normal Wednesday meeting uh, to the following Wednesday? That will line up somewhat with the July 11th select board meeting because they've asked us, will we have the paperwork, the recommendation? for a board seat. We have to do um, Kathy's 
and then she can come in and, and be sworn in before the next meeting. We can't do that on the 5th? I, I guess my concern is we have interviews, more interviews to do as well. Yeah, no. And I'm gone from the 15th to the 22nd. I'm sure all the vacations are coming up. I, so, I mean, I, if we have to have two meetings to get through that, I, I guess I would. Well, that's why I put board schedule. We, you know, there, I, I'm very much aware of this and I'm, and you know, the senior center is going to be, Oh, oh, that's okay. So I think we took care of everything. I, do, the last you? question, <laughs> sorry, was the exhibit, you have the exhibit A? It's a brochure, here, it's a little booklet that's given to the consumer guiding them as to what okay. uh, the, the fares are and blah, blah, Should blah. Should staple, usually exhibit A's if they're identifying a contract. Well, we that was sent that. to us, you know. I so printed can I have that. this? Yeah, yeah. I so what I'll do is I'll just attach it to the back, so. Yeah, yeah. If you have to for some reason, that's yeah, all. Yeah. That's all. Right. Super. Um, so you got to sign and give it to us or not? Well, I have to, I'm going to forward these answers to the board oh, okay. to make sure that we're uh, happy with that. Okay. And um, so just want to review this one more time. I got the. Thank you. I understand thirty thousand. The Corey check is not been done per contract, but it is current. And you will allow you voted to align yourself with the contract, so that going forward, that will be good. Right. And I got exhibit A. That's it. Perfect. And we're in good standing. Amy had only the best things to say about us. And she okay. wanted to know whether I was still going to oversee the contract. Said, no, this was just temporary. I want to go back to my other life. You know, <laughs> they've always been very good to us, too, because if we go over, they, they fill in for that. They give us that money. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. As the long as happens. we tell them in advance, they always have this little pie. Oh, so it's not, it says maximum of 30, but it, it, if it goes over, if it goes over, over they, they make up the difference. That's why we've oh, gotten okay. as high, because it used to be 22, then it went up to 25. I mean, it just, but we, one year was 24. So, it, but this is about the, you okay. know, I think it's a good peak that's going to give us that leverage. I mean, we'll have to get another driver permanently, but that's another story. Okay. So, All right. but, but um, thank you. Uh, you know, thank the board on our behalf that yeah, they were as flexible because, you know, okay. Jim typically we were talking earlier about core checks and to yeah. see if we can centralize them. Is that something the select board can address and maybe have the town administrator? Yeah, that'll put it on our agenda. This way we can address it. We're going to talk about it. Try to. Yeah, not just for yeah. us, but for... Yeah, we have to everybody. check whether we have to do our own. Okay. But uh, it's really for the confidentiality. Yeah. When they're done, nobody needs to know when somebody's done and, and where it gets filed. That's all. It'd be nice if the police handle it, but I don't know. They can't, because I talk to... Okay. I talk, talk to my children, they can't. Yeah, they do their own, and they're under another system. And they can't do ours and but like vice legally, versa. the town is supposed to have a piece of paper that says what you're looking for and what would prevent somebody from being hired. And I don't know that yeah. the town has that because I've never seen it. Like I, nobody could give me anything when I ran Shannon's that said this would prevent her from having that job. That's and what would prevent somebody it to be in the Council on Aging is different than what would prevent somebody in finance. Well, in the contract, I read there's, there are things that define it for, for them. this. Right, yeah, this, yeah. But right. Not, for, not for everybody else. Right. Not for everybody else. Well, just, just to give you another example, the quarries that are run on the volunteer pool of people, there, I've been told that there has been at least, you know, on occasion, one, there was like a five-page query of information on one person, and I just told that it was suspicious, and they kind of let it go. That's illegal. I would not. You have to notify the person that something's on their record, that you give them the opportunity to correct it. You just don't run and have this information. And nobody in that office had the training, the ability, the authority to, to put somebody in somebody's home that may have a questionable quarry. It might be it's, nice to align something again with this contract, having parameters of where somebody has to fall 
either they pass or they fail. So right now we get a Corey check, and at this point, if there's anything there, we don't know if that disqualifies them or not. We don't right. have that in writing, right. I understand. That might be a good thing to put on the select board's agenda. But whether so, it disqualifies them or not, if something shows up, that person by law has to be called in. Because it could be in there wrong, and unless they're notified it's there, they don't have a chance to correct it. Correct. Whether we want to hire them or not, they are supposed to be notified if their quarry shows anything. It's like a bad credit report. Yes, you know, if you don't have, so this, this when you run a quarry in another job, that all is going to go in. And then some behavior that didn't get picked up here or, yes. it's, it's, it's really huge. I mean, we learned a lot. Patrice did a lot of research. I did, and I have voluminous printouts from all these different places that I contacted that I said, oh my God, this is a job. This is a job, and I don't want that responsibility. So, well, the whole Shannon debacle that everybody knew she had thought she hadn't been Corey, and there was like talk about it for months and complaints, was because nobody saw it to be able to share if it showed anything or not. Like, nobody, it, it, well, yeah. Nobody should have known whether or not, she, I mean, yes, yeah. she got Corey. Yeah. There was a violation of confidentiality yeah. by the staff because nobody would have known unless the staff said, no, she hasn't been Corey. And there's massive fines for that. Yeah, yeah. And they would be for the town, not for individual. For the or the yeah, individual. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So we're going to correct that. And I mean, from an operational standpoint, we're not going to be surprised like we have been. I mean, Dorothy and I have been here the longest from that. But we, we that was not part of our scope of responsibility. We were shocked. So we're here to correct it. Perfect. We're on the job. The <laughs> should put it on our agenda and we can talk about it. Yeah. All right, Thank so you if you're going to be on vacation, enjoy, okay. and we'll be around. Thank you. And hopefully Thanks. we'll be able to do something by July 11th. That's what we're discussing now. Okay. Thank you. It's just that we're getting tired. We're old. One Would you please remember that we're old? I have to wait four and a half more years before I can rent a house. <laughs> <laughs> I saw oh, I don't know. <laughs> if I get you up, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. Good. Can I address the... Um, the next meeting. If we wait until the 12th, the board is meeting on the 11th. We want to submit a name for nomination to the board. Then we need to meet on the 5th and choose some, you know, find somebody that we are, are in that agreement with. with. All right. I can tell you, orientation where I work got changed so I could be here on the first Wednesday. There's no way I can be here on the second Wednesday because I can't keep playing that game with them. So I say we meet on July 5th. And then we can, it can be submitted to the board on the 11th. And then the next time we meet, we will have a You realize meeting. that there are people on vacation. You'll be in There's always here. going to be people on vacation. You'll be enough of us here that yeah. we'll be able to take a vote. Oh, no, no, I'm not talking about the board contacting the people to come in to meet oh. them. Oh, well, if they That's can't fine. make it, that's their problem. They're disqualified. Oh. And, yeah, and you certainly don't have to interview everybody that puts in a... I mean, you need to take a look. Yeah, you look at them and, the look at and choose two or three to interview or talk to, but not... Just All right. apply them and get you an interview. Okay, so um, so do you want to then look at this, make this part of the meeting today, that we look at those? Yes. I mean, we're stalling on everything. We're stalling on the band driver. We're stalling on the director. Now, now we have to have a board member. We need to start getting things done. I don't think we're stalling on the van driver. Well, we they should give them now we're meeting again and we have to make a decision. And nobody's, I don't consider that stalling. Can we, can we get through this, the minutes? Yes. <laughs> you haven't read that? <laughs> All right, are we meeting on the 5th or not? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So do we have a vote? Have seen this? I vote for the 5th of July. I'll second the motion. 5th of July, Patrice, is and you know, agreeable to you. Um, when it comes Sorry. to my time that I can't make it, this board better support me because I've accommodated a lot. So we'll help you. Yeah. And and Miss Chair, Ms. Chair, before we leave today, we will sit and get an agenda 
so we don't have five different agendas and people wondering what time are we meeting? Are we okay. not meeting? So everybody read the notes. Well, you're supposed to stay stay in line with me, and you've just missed the boat. <laughs> it's hard to stay in line. I know, I know, I know. She calls me. Then that stupid thing that went into my draft. <laughs> I don't know how, but anyway. Okay, so give us a few minutes to look at this, and then um, I will tell you that there was a cancellation of somebody pulled back on the um, on the um, on an interview today. Okay. It came last night for today. For yeah. today, one o'clock. So two o'clock. Two o'clock. Uh, the the one o'clock cancel. I called the two o'clock to cut at eight thirty this morning to see if she can move up, and she can't. Okay. She can't. So she's at two. Yeah. Okay. So it's Jennifer Day, right? Time. At two o'clock, Jennifer Day at two o'clock. This is your. We're on the, the record here. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need What's to. What's the point of doing all this? It's already. Finished. See, that's what we have to. Oh my God! Is it, you know what? I think we're going to table these. I think this is too much for us to. I mean, if we're going to have a meeting, that's why I was asking about the meeting. Yeah. yeah. Today's only really about the interview I think process too much and all that. This is our homework to read and maybe come back. Yeah, maybe our I'll to go on the yeah, agenda works for me. Meeting so that's that's for, okay, okay, good. Because the first time right, I, I, my first my item will be review of yes. minutes. Yeah, seven minutes. Yeah, okay. Um, so the other, oh God, I'm looking at the 17th. Um, so the FRTA, we've taken care of it. So I just wanted to beat this was before. Bylaws. Um, okay, so do we want to, um, I guess. Let's go to an easy one. Board schedule. So we're meeting on the 5th. We're going to try to interview all or two, one or two or whatever for the uh, board. Um, vacancy. Yeah, vacancy. Okay. And um, but we'll, we'll review whatever we got. I don't have Cheryl's. Uh, is it Cheryl? Uh, not Cheryl. Who's the person that you said? No, no, no. We're talking about board positions. Somebody, because okay. some of them got sent by Velda. So Elizabeth Fletcher sent texted me and said she applied. Did it go to the town website? Did because I don't. I I checked with the Shannon and Andy yesterday about the mail, whether it, somebody had dropped it off. She I said, do you want me to email it to you or just send it to Town Hall? I swear to God she emailed it to me, but I can't find it. Mm -hmm. But she said she sent it. Attention to Council on Aging, do you get to pick up your own, do you get to pick your own people? I said, board votes on who? And she applied because when I asked her to, there wasn't anybody. She's probably like a 28 year old kid. Her parents own Fletcher Farm. She's a uh, Social worker working on her master's in social work. All right, so let's. Um, She's been a volunteer here for years and never been called. And every year they run her Corey check and never well, they should call her to do anything. So if you're not going to use the person, you really shouldn't still be yeah. calling them. Yeah, it's like when you're hired, you the Corey is run after. Um, okay, so. I'm wondering if Velda, but she's pretty good about forwarding things. Do you want me to check with her, see if anything's come in? Well, let's let's uh, let's um, organize. So the next, so the so the van driver. Do we have? There was an additional resume that came in. Oh, there was. That I think I included in this packet, didn't I? I have a, I have a comment with regards to that. I mean, it's a, we didn't unfortunately did not set a deadline date. Well, now we had interviewed two people. And I don't think we need to interview a third because it was real late and we have a good candidate. Okay. What's what is the board? I was I was quite happy with um, one particular yes. candidate. Yeah. I, I was I too. the interview of the first one and that's the one you're all approving. Yes. So I'll go along with that. Yeah. yeah. Makes two of us. Okay. <laughs> And if we don't get back to him soon, we're going to lose him. Yeah, right. Because yeah. he was being wooed by his present situation. Yeah. He was going zip lining with his grandson. I said, oh my God, don't get hurt. But, but as far as uh, personality and the experience, he said he would have to 
kind of getting a little familiar with the roads. Um, and uh, the second candidate just uh, had inflexibility with the schedule. Yeah, and the, the, the person that we would really like to have, yeah, yeah, the first person, really talked about a lot of scenarios that we were that we should have not should have, but that we would have asked questions about. He told us about things that he did with the seniors, right, and particular situations, which left us feeling well grounded with this person. Yeah. I mean, if we're, we're going to make him an offer, then we can tell this person we're in the process of making an offer, and if something falls through, we'll keep his resume on file. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Um, you know, rather than... Yeah. But, you know, um, I feel perfectly comfortable saying, you know, that we needed... The unknown variable with the second was that there was... A, he was trying to sort of um, get an exact... What, did the, what were the hours? Was he driving to a particular destination and all that? We, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it traffic well, seemed had, to be a problem. Yes, you know, absolutely. Construction on the roads. Yeah. He, Springfield came off in a discussion and he didn't want, he didn't like that. I mean, yeah, he didn't want to go anywhere near construction and it yeah, was not so, good. Anyway, so, and yeah. You get along with Bay State. Oh, yeah. Right. Right, right. Oh, they're back and forth. I mean, Richard just... And I said, sometimes he starts as early as 7 and he's back here at 5. You know, uh, it's an unknown. It's okay. an unknown. So let's take, do we need to vote on this? Yeah, I think you guys need to vote. Whoever was here. Which I, make, I make a motion that we uh, make an offer to the gentleman from East Hampton. Okay. I second that. All right. And uh, you more in here. I'm so. in favor. Oh, you, you're in favor because I wasn't here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because... You support our judgment. Right. <laughs> well, then there's me. Um, no, I, I mean I would only abstain would you feel the same way to you because I trust your judgment. Yes. Yeah. I said to I said to the folks that when I spoke to him on the phone, I had the same feeling that they got one this warrant. Yeah. He walked in. He sat there. He smiled. He was engaging. He was pleasant, welcoming. You know. Uh, and that's really important for the seniors. Very at ease. Yes. Yeah. Talk to me about what he did or yeah. does. Oh, yeah. Okay. Aye. 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 Okay, so we have, uh, you're upstate because you aren't here, Miss Patrice. No, she she agreed. Oh, you agree? I'm sorry. You know, you have those shades on. I don't know what. She's moving. I'm trying to read. Oh, well, with shades? I keep doing that. Yes. Your, uh, no, your reading that. glasses, too. Yeah, I've done that sometimes. Okay, so this is good. So we're meeting uh, um, uh, uh, July, 5th. July 5th. Where? At what time? July 5th. I guess we'll meet at 9.30. Can we meet at 9? I mean, is it 9.30? No, no, no. We're going to stick to 9.30. It works out for me. And okay. we went to that to accommodate. We, won't, we can't have too many okay. changes. No, no, enough no, is I, enough. That's okay. I, I, was, I wasn't here before. Okay. Okay. So I'm asking a question. I can, I can, I can. <laughs> okay. Let's take it. We're from 9 to 9.30. <laughs> okay. We'd like to find out that Gloria and I have been on the phone sometimes. She said to me, Nilda. Is it too early to call you? I said, no. I can't believe you called me at 730 this morning. I said, I'm up at 5. I mean, sometimes Shannon called me at 6. I mean, I'm I'm like emailing and, you know, it's not like I'm sitting around doing, I, I don't sit in front of the TV. Can, and I, so, can I feel but free, though, to ask a question without sure. having, feel like I get jumped? I mean, I just said, can we make it 9? And I felt like, you know. I'm only kidding, you okay. It was a, a fun you one. Have to it was listen. a fun one. Um, well, you're very serious. You're you trying to get to, uh, you know, they have the issue out there. Okay, I do. Why okay. not consider earlier? I mean, so you know, it's like the same comment with my name. Next, if I need time, then I hope you guys support me. You know, it, that's for me. I mean, I took that very we're not very. We're not very rigid. We okay. have fun. Does this, this, this You'll know when I'm upset. Does this most recent <laughs> application for the job need to be called and said we already filled the position? Who? The person, the, the application that we got for the van driver. Yeah, that's okay. Why don't call him until the other guy accepts? Oh. Yeah, because of he Yeah, yeah. yeah. That we would like to make him an offer. So I think we have to do that today. How qualified was the third applicant? It was, you know, it, it, they had some experience but not solid. I mean, I think... Okay. I think the, um, yeah. he lives in East Hampton too. Yeah. Everybody wants to work. He's so. <laughs> such a jolly group. Mm -hmm. Hank definitely kept it. Yeah. 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 Very nice. I, I think I gave them. Okay, so moving along. Um, so 9.30 on July 5th. 
Okay, so now what I didn't do with the second batch of resumes, I didn't code them. So I did a little, which I didn't make a copy because I came straight up. She did. What do you mean didn't code them? The ones for um, the director. Did I do a summary page? The director? Just, yeah, just yeah. this. You did the copy. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, well, I couldn't find it. I'm guessing the ones I got doesn't have today's in it. Right. Okay. No. Today's? No. no. Today's applicant. So. And then we got one we more. Yeah. The director? Yeah, from Velda. Yeah. So let me just let me that? just update yeah. you on, yeah. and we can do this without going into any. Here, um, here. Okay. So I said that number one, you have this from last time. Did, oh, you wanted? To, were you here? No, I don't have. Oh, it. you don't have. No, this. we're gonna give this out too. Okay, so be but before you go into, so let me just so one and two, we can go into Vicky because she has a copier. She did get her okay. new copy right. So one took herself out of the running. Mm -hmm. Number two, took out of herself out of the running last night. She sent me an email. Her parents are aging and she needs to be available. Mm -hmm. uh, the last they were one. aging last week. Sorry. Number four, I tried again because I got a message from the office staff that she tried calling because she hadn't heard and I tried called her. I sent her another email. This woman doesn't respond. I don't understand how difficult it could be that she can't get an in. I've been doing this from, you know, back when we. Well, if I was hiring her and that all happened, I wouldn't care anyway because I wouldn't hire her because yeah. she can't obviously respond. Yeah. You know, it's just you know, it's been it's been frustrating. So the only one we have is number three, and as I said. Um, She's coming in um, at two because of that. So then we have, I have five on the list, the second group. I identified it as the second group. And then that's the one that I did a separate sheet. But I just kind of, I, when I made the first contact, if they responded or not, and then an actor, you know, just to kind of give me, because this has been a multi-layer. So that's where we're at with that. Um, so the question that I posed is, do we need to, how we did it last time, we just said yes or no, you know, the ranking was shared with the, at the meeting. Um, and Jan, uh, Janet gave me her ranking for the first group and then I did have a conversation with her and told her where we, she did, would you like to ask the question as to, that you asked me that I said I didn't answer because I didn't want to represent other people. which one was that? Okay, so I think if we're gonna talk about a particular person, we need to go into executive session only because it may reflect something about by number. We were talking about these individuals by number. Do you want to, you feel comfortable doing that way and then? Sure. Yeah, I, I guess, I mean, when we interview them or when we set up interviews, I, I guess I don't understand why we assign a number to them because it's open to the public, correct? The interview well, process? There was there was one person that asked that, you know, information um, because I did include this in the um, um, in the email that I sent on the first one, you know, are these are public meetings, do you want to close right, or not? Right. There was one person, actually two people that expressed that. So what I discussed at the last meeting was that we were getting a set amount of questions to be decided. We were going to ask those questions of the applicants, the same questions to each so that there'd be uniformity. This, uh, and also we would identify them by number if we were gonna talk only for purposes of our discussion. It wasn't the fact that we were ranking them because we favored one versus the other. And so um, that was the only thing that I did that I thought would protect. The other group, I haven't done that because all I did was contact two of them and I said, this is where we are in the process. We're gonna be interviewing some people on Thursday the 29th. What the board decides to do with the second tier is unknown to me, so. So we have, at the moment we have Five, five viable applicants, am I correct? 
I think we have another one. We have the, um, what's her first, don't say, uh, just the initial, the one that you said came, um, oh, this one. Did every, this came on the, on the internet from, I, yeah. I, I thought that was for, um, I didn't have that one. What's that one? Is that for, for the board or for the job? Look, look at the letter. No, I, oh. I did a cover letter. Is it for the, which is that? Why don't we have applications from all of them? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm director. Oh, uh, I see the council. We need to change it to the senior center. Oh, that's the one that's interested in our board? No, the one that's interested in the board. No, she calls the council on aging director. I'm sure she's talking about the senior center. But that's yes. not the person you mentioned. No, I know. But I know her. And this is the one. All right, so well, let's put yeah. her in here. I'm going I'd just to say hire her. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you let's let's not fall right, right in his hands. Okay. Second that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so let so me. This so is number wanted, nine. Was that number nine or no? Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. On your list. Did, this was the one that Velda. She did everything. Okay. I mean, I just printed it. Somebody else. Yeah. It's not. It's yeah. Not, uh, so I think we're down to yeah, number ten. Six. Yeah, this is ten. I don't. Okay. I didn't have ten. Okay. Okay. No, I don't have well, ten either. The, who's the number so nine? To add to them. Yes, right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, that's right. It's good. It's so what are, what, what are our next steps? What are we doing next? Like All right. So let's. In order to be able to have a fluid conversation. And, and be able to express mm -hmm. what our our uh, evaluation. I, I would suggest we go into it uh, just to kind of. I agree. I, I know agree. somebody's going to lose, gonna slip. say something and lose lips. And at this point, so we need to have a roll call to go into executive session. Wink, will I? Lori Louiselle, aye. Patricia, aye. Janet Kane, aye. Putnam, aye. No, look, Colin, I. Um, we're going to executive session under Massachusetts General Law 30A, Section 21A, um, 1, Reasons for Convening Executive Session to Discuss the Reputation, Character, Physical Condition, or Mental Health Rather than Professional Competency of an Individual or Discuss the Discipline or Dismissal of or complaints or charges against a public officer, employee, staff member, or individual. Discuss strategy. That's the important component of this. Oh, you're on. Okay. okay, we're back to open session. Um, temporarily, we're going to take a 15-minute break. That would take an hour. Uh, okay, we're going to take an hour because we're going to go vote. And so we'll resume our meeting at, uh, we'll come back to executive session and then at two o'clock. I don't want to be able to park right Can we there, leave? Probably. Can we leave? I think yeah, so. you can't go. I mean, it'd be too right yeah. right? um, Take your purse, though. No. Red is on, right? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so so you're you're back in, yeah. We are back in session, two o'clock. And um, the afternoon was going to be um, dedicated to interviews uh, for the director position. And we will conduct this in executive session, even though uh, Jennifer did not um, request it, but in terms of the uniformity for everyone, then we're going to do it. And then the questions won't be out there. So we should need to record it then? No, I'm, I'm saying we have, oh, I'm stating that we're oh, going to be and going, and then I have to read Sorry. it, and then we'll have a roll call, and I'm still learning. <laughs> okay. I'm new. I have to do an intro, because I said we were going to start again yes, at yes, 2 yes, o'clock. Okay. I just can't just, thank you. Sorry, sorry. Uh, so, um, okay, so what was I going to do? So that's why we're going to go into, um, uh, into executive sessions. Come So we're going to have a roll call. Kathy Winkler. Lori Louisell. Chris Mackey. Janet Kane. Dorothy Putnam. Melinda Cohen. And we have with us a candidate. I'm sure they know who you are. Okay, so uh, let me read the executive session um, uh, requirement. Massachusetts General Law 30A, Section 21A1, Reasons for Convening Executive Session to Discuss the Reputation, Character, Physical Condition, or Mental Health rather than Professional Competency of an Individual or Discuss the Discipline 
or dismissal or complaints or charges against a public officer, employee, staff member, or individual. Discussion of strategy. That's where we're putting that under the tag because some people have requested. Um, so um, with that being said, we will enter into executive session. Um, are, we got, are we planning to go back to open? Should I? We are? OK. Was that the consensus to go over anything that we had discussed earlier in exec? Or do we just say exec will close it and we're not going to reconvene and open? I don't just reconvene and decide. OK, so after this session, we will uh, open, uh, return to open session to be determined how long. Also, we're not finished with the agenda for our next meeting. Oh, OK. All right. Mm -hmm. With that being said, we will close. And, a, and we we're back in open session. Yeah. We're deciding on the agenda for our next meeting. And we're supposed to have a roll call that we're back, so I think Winkler. we did that before. Loisel. Becky. Kane. Adam. Nilda Cohen. Aye. Uh, because we're supposed to record that everybody was still in the presence of whatever. So, <coughs> so the next set of candidates, when when are we going to try to target an interview for that? Should we? I mean, last time I think we set up the 29th and tried to work everybody to that date. So we said that we were going to do. <laughs> Can we do it? Try to shoot for Thursday the sixth. No. I found out that um, that one candidate uh, that we were talking about, she won't be back until the 11th. Um, Whose phone is that? Oh. Kathleen. Oh, okay. So we won't have to interview her. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if we, if we want to submit to the board, they're meeting on Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's is right. it an emergency or can I call you back? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Bye. Right. What so about? how many board vacancies? I mean, I mean, how many board vacancies? One. No, I know that. I, the That's mind is for us. Four. That's what you asked. Four interviews. Yeah. Can yeah. we make them ten minutes long? Yes, of yeah, course. Oh, oh, for the board. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really it's really, you know. Why do you want to be on the board? Can we just call them a meet and greet? <clears throat> sure. To everybody at the same time? No. Oh, okay. But you know, could you come in for? A I would schedule them 15 minutes apart. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, don't even need works. 15 minutes. An hour. So that's ten. an hour. So we could schedule a couple minutes. of directors. About ten minutes. minutes. Five. We think it's going to take five. So schedule ten minutes apart. I mean, basically, what Janet and I, I, all the board said to us is, "Excuse me, why do you want to be on the board?" Yeah. That's because we got away with avoiding the, Especially the, the tough ones here. But there wasn't anybody else, right? Yeah, there wasn't anybody. Oh, there's three people. Yeah, there are three. Yeah. And she's not interested anymore, so you don't have to worry. Well, of course, because you got on. That's true. But what, I, mean, <laughs> certainly, I certainly wasn't expecting it that night. I'm thinking, I'm sitting here. It's going to be a nice, quiet evening. Yeah, right. You know, well, that didn't last. You know what? And, you know, it, it, to be, uh, you know, this is going to be on camera, so I'll say it. Uh, we we were pushing to, or at least I was pushing, and I went to Bob Markle, and, and he went to Charlie, and as Dorothy has said in the past, we had a protocol. We did it. It worked out very well. Everybody was happy. We did it very respectfully, and we selected, but we didn't have a large pool of people. So when we said the board deserves and the respect to have, to be, make a recommendation, and they they didn't but everybody that was here voted for you two guys i mean because it was it was you weren't you didn't vote i wasn't here she wasn't oh here. oh she wasn't here okay cool. so it wasn't you know it was a done deal so we said i'm not going to the meeting what for yeah because i mean i i didn't know lady i was upstairs at a funny that's right somebody meeting somebody, meeting. somebody right next to me and saying you might want to get downstairs <laughs> Wait, wait, you know, now let me ask you, because I think what was going to come from the board. After we have our 15 minutes with each of these people that want to be on the board. No, five minutes. <laughs> five, whatever. So we have to do paperwork to send to the select board. We just do a letter and say that okay, we're recommending this, we're writing writing for for this person. Mine mm -hmm. is a renewal. Is that a required Yours paper? is a reappointment, so it's different. So Is it going to required? Yeah, we have to do that. The board has voted to okay. appoint you. Yeah, 
No more form F or X, Y, Z, 10 or something. You don't have to go to the town clerk? Once the board, the okay. board of selectmen right. sign okay. off on the paperwork, right. then yeah. she goes yeah. and gets yeah. sworn in. Yeah. So, like, when you call these people, are you going to say, could you just come in for five minutes at this no. time and let us I'll, know why I'll you want to be on the board? Yeah, we've been, you know, we've been, you know, we've had a number of people express an interest. In light of that, we're going to do short just to, as a courtesy, <coughs> just, you know, face to face <coughs> and brief. And then, you know, it's not a complex, but we really want, feel that, that everybody would be, would benefit from that. Right. Okay. So well, you're, let them know. The woman you knew is that's in Greece. Yeah, is not here next yeah. week, and I have a feeling Josie's on vacation next week. So I don't think there's going to be four interviews. Oh. Josie oh. came to she our meeting came, and right? she yeah, said yeah. that she wasn't going to be available, and so that and 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 Lori knows Catherine too, right? right? And so, so I, I know her visually. Okay. I have yeah. never had a conversation with her. But we um, don't have to have four scheduled right, interviews. Right, right, right. right. I'm saying so. So it's really Joe and um, Liz. We could okay. actually do some interviews for the director on that day. That's what I'm saying. What day? The, the fifth. fifth. We're meeting. Oh, the fifth. Right. There's no okay. reason. At least two or three. So let's, let's put it on the regular agenda because let me. You're not here on the fifth. No, she can't take I the can whole come, day. I can come, but I can't take a day off yeah, of work. Yeah, yeah. To but the sixth was more than work. Yeah, but. Yeah, well, that's her. Let's see. She has Thursdays off. I'm supposed to have Thursdays she, off. I was at work this morning when she called me at 7.30, and as soon as I leave here, I'm going back to work. But it's supposed to be my day off. It's Thursday. And, and she said... But I was just gone for two weeks, so I'm playing catch-up. Yeah. And, and my 93-year-old needs her wine delivered. I... Listen, that's a priority. She <laughs> is to her. <laughs> Join the wine of the... Uh, what is it? The wine of the... No, alcohol. her wine gets mixed in my office because okay. it's not on all All right, alcohol. okay, okay. I'm only kidding. Okay, so... Um, so I started to say, so that agenda, we can do, you know, there are, there's some housekeeping that we have to do. You gave me the copies of all the minutes that were missing from the website. We have to post minutes to the website. And she gave me May 16th and, you know. All the ones you wanted anyway. Right, right. So that has to be, we have to re-vote on those, the people that were here. We have to. Um, Why? They were already approved. Yeah, we went to the meetings. Yeah, they yeah. just didn't did. Did you it. read? Did you read that they were approved in the previous in the meeting? In the minute it, it should the be in there. I don't guarantee it, but it should be. I in haven't. There. I haven't it's read them. Um, my guess well, is that it's probably. Well, we have to record it. In yeah. the, we have to record it on the record. Uh, you know that they've been um, found, and we're going to post them to the website. Mm -hmm. I mean, can I just make a quick suggestion? You know, Patrice's um, time is limited. Can we do the interviews first, and then she can leave, and we can the rest of the board members can clean up the rest of this stuff? How would that work? That's fine. What are you talking about? We'll do the interviews first. I understand. So then, if you have the board, board first. Yeah, uh, we could do both. We could do. I mean, if, I mean, uh, what? Normally, you'd like to leave before twelve. Pretty short notice for a candidate interview, though. A week? I wrote, you know, I yes. talked to them. I okay. told them that this Good. thing was moving. So, you know, if I hadn't made the first call, mm -hmm. I would say, okay, this is completely cold, and it is a vacation week. I mean, yeah. people could be away, but well, we're starting. Wait a minute, are you talking about both the fifth? Oh, uh, well, we're yeah. starting at nine thirty. By ten, we will have finished the board vacancies. Yes. yes. Because we're down to like two people mm -hmm. that are available. Right. We could be done with it by twenty up. Yeah. You know, so we have our first. Um, person in at um, 10 and the next one in at um, 10 or 11. We'll give them 10 50. 11 30, they're done. I thought we were talking about 9 30 and 9 45. 9 45 and 10. Oh, you're talking about the board members? Yeah, I thought that's yeah, what that's we're talking fine. about. That's oh, we're talking about both. Both and interviewing oh, at and least. So, wait, two the rest candidates. of them on Wednesday? Yeah. Whatever. So let's say so we start at nine thirty. We get done with uh, the you know uh, let's say ten of ten, nine fifty. Or we could do it in reverse. Do the um, director positions first and just hold off the board thing until the end. You know, start with the directors. Nine thirty. Well, they're going to have to come in though. 
That's all right. Is it going to be harder for them to come in in the middle of the day as opposed to first thing in the morning? Well, it's the same thing for the job. Well, the candidates, I mean, as Joe Slaughter, you retired. Everybody? Yes. Well, he works here 18 hours a week. Yeah, because they they needed but him because of the history that was that you know when Tom came it was <coughs> who uh, most of them are wo not working I think of the people that we this oh no it seems like he's retired no no I'm talking about the candidates so oh, the candidate. Williams is not working um, Lanahan's not working um, um, they could be on vacation Epstein's not working that's the list the Shannon candidate. is here. Who's the other person? There was Andrew, another Connor. Deborah, Shannon. Yeah. Jones. So most of them are not working. I don't know about Connor. Lee and Connor. Yeah. So we'll see. Well, that was the van drivers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and also, am I going to call Henry and say? Yes. 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 Today? Yeah. yeah. Cool. If he's not sick, like me. I'm so glad yeah. I'm not the director anymore. Huh? Sure. You're so glad you're not the chair anymore. Fair. You want? I'm so glad I'm not the chair anymore. <laughs> so you, this has been. I mean, that's gonna change. I mean, it's gonna. It's gonna. That's what you easy. told me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't hold it against me. I I hoped. Okay. So I'm gonna. So do I go for two candidates on Wednesday? Permanent candidates. Yes. Yeah. Two people. You can do anything you want on Wednesday. I'll take it off. You're kidding. No. Nope. You're fantastic. Well, if you're going to still take the day off, can we do two in the afternoon? Okay, yeah. so let's, let's, let's get this over with. Yeah. Let's get this over with. Because it's painful to drag it out because then I'm missing time every week or every <laughs> yeah. day. Um, all, right. all right, so you're going to have to help me. So, um, so there's six people. So we're going to see four. Are we going to see four on Wednesday? You know, this last one took 20 minutes. Do we really need 40 minutes? There's only five people. We don't right? need 40 Is minutes. Is it fine? Yeah, probably Well, not. I said 40 because, you know. I know, but I think if we schedule them every half hour, somebody would be waiting for 15 minutes, which is not unheard of at a job. And somebody else, we might have to wait 15 minutes to get them in. Actually, that's not that bad, Dan. I mean, like, what's her name? Deb Epstein, who doesn't shut up? Give her an hour. It's if you guys want her but oh, no, no. i don't want her. no 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 she's going to go in all different directions right so then limit it because there's people waiting and we got to go so are you saying 20 minutes or a half hour i would half say half hour, hour. <laughs> i have to mention it's, it's more than enough <clears throat> yeah because then you know anything less would be uh yeah, nine. Uh, so, I, as I said, you know, we're giving people, you know, thirty to forty minutes. Isn't that what I said when I started with her? Yeah, but you had scheduled the other ones for one and two, and I don't think we need that huge. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, we only had two at the one point. Well, it wasn't like we we hadn't received this other one. I know, but so. even then, we don't have time to kill in between. I got stuff to do. I have a pile of mulch to spread still, so <laughs> and I don't even have mulch this year. <coughs> Okay, listen, let me talk to these people and then we figure it out. Epstein okay. and Lin mm. Linehan, Linehan. So if we start at 10, 10.30, don't forget Shannon. 11.30 11 is 4. And that takes us to north. And Shannon's until 10 .30. already here. Yeah, I know. Like, so she can sort of fit in wherever there's the opening. Yeah. But like, and are we going to tell? But call uh, like Leah yeah, and, and that, that other one. Not being considered for the position at this yeah. point, and just yeah, kind of drop them. And and then we have. I mean, I think he might be a good assistant, but we have to see. We we definitely whatever happens, we need people that have some. So I don't there. even know him. But it would be great to have a guy here to do a men's group to talk football with. Uh, mm -hmm. No, he, we're trying to get a man. He does enter it really well with the seeds. Yeah. Um, on a little fishing trip. I gotta tell you, I looked at the, the list of things. I gotta bring this into show you guys. <laughs> West Hampton has an unbelievable amount of things. Yes, they do. I read Little that. West Hampton. Yep. Yep. Yes, yeah. they do. I you know how many conversations yep. I have when I call them and I see what they have planned as activity. 
how do you do it? Because there is such a little small thing. They have, bre they have I think they have a breakfast. Yes. They, they have, have lunch. I mean, I just say like it's phenomenal. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but Jen tried the breakfast thing and that didn't fly. Yeah, but because we well, did that's the breakfast the old with, days. with that's the old days. We did that meal and the, the stuff was not good. We tried it. That cold breakfast, I, people didn't come. Also, we had it way at a ground too. And that was not welcome. What do we have? The grant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's going to change. We're going to apply for a lot of grants. Okay, so we, we have four people we're interviewing, right? Well, I could probably even give more. Can you just try to Five. save Deb Epstein for last? Oh, she is. Sorry. Oh, we're off. We're off. Aren't okay. they off? It's red. No, she had to red is on. Oh, red okay. is on. Mm. And we need to make a motion on a cutoff day for applications, too. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll entertain <coughs> what today okay. on the committee. I recommend a, I make a recommendation that we cut off applications today. I'll second for the one. director. Why would you do that? Because, because we're going to keep going on. And what on if and nobody wants it? Then we'll be we'll we'll re-energized. But you've got to cut it well, off. Are we still out? What we're, we're doing, we're closing from having resumes to review. We're not going to close the, you know, on the website. And then if something, then we'll officially, once it's hot, the person's hired, it'll be announced. Is it off? No. <laughs> Is it off now? It will be. Should nope. we make a motion that we adjourn? Exactly. Still taking. Should we make a motion that we adjourn? Well, are we, we, are we, so I'm going to go and schedule these people. But anyway, so we need to. Um, I make a motion that we adjourn. Can I ask one question there before we, go. we I will second the motion. Yeah, Is we patiently have, waiting there? Do we have any end of year budget transfers that we've done? Or are we set with that? I gave, I worked on the Gazette, which was the one that was outstanding. The other uh, was the um, um, furniture. No, there was something. Oh, oh God, there was the something. Order. The Gazette and just uh, the chair. Oh, the telephone. We didn't have to. We're do still the waiting for a bill, and then Lori. Lori asked about whether we had any money. And I said to her, I didn't know because we were trying to, you know, um, handle the Gazette situation. Right. And so I gave what I approved for, Vicki sent an email yesterday that things had to be in yesterday, so I kind of moved. And I got an email to me and then I forwarded to her last night and she's all set for what's being processed. Shannon will be in on Wednesday and then we have to kind of say, I want all those numbers too. I don't want any surprises, so hopefully. I mean, do we have to transfer anything to the wage line since there's only, or we're able to just pay out of the grant at this point? I mean, with $300 well, I left in the wage line as of the 22nd, yeah. so. I know that she's been managing <coughs> hers and, um, and, um, and Andy's, and I'm confident that she's, okay. you know, she's I stuck to her guns. We're not gonna, we can't transfer money from, wages to local so we can do can we do local to wages what was the yeah i remember what the yeah you can transfer to wages right right but i don't think we're going to be in that situation but we only have 300 dollars left and there's yeah three more weeks of yeah hey right or what that's it, the report that the joyce sent out the other yeah, day yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so there's probably well we, get, we have to get on her <coughs> okay. you know, i just want to make way. sure so I sh I've been told consistently we're okay, we're okay, and so okay. I told her we don't have major problems. Great. So, um, okay. So Kathy made a motion. I'll second the motion to adjourn. Or to, uh, yeah, adjourn. Adjourn. Right. Can you shut us off? Okay. Everybody? Uh, yeah. Approval. Aye. 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 12. Did somebody second 256. it? 256. Yes, we did. 256. Okay. 256, oh, okay. It's 256, okay. yes. I have questions. Wait a minute.